Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, the Knight of Justice. Back again with another power scaling video. It's been a while since I've done a video on Digimon. And what better way to kick it off for a new year than to talk about some of the franchise's most evil beings. The Seven Great Demon Lords. We'll be discussing the roles they play and the overall power they have within the digital world. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, Please hit like, share, and subscribe, and also comment down below. Hit the notification button and stay tuned for when videos come out in the future. But, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. The Seven Great Demon Lords has had numerous appearances across the franchise of Digimon, and a great influence within the animes, games, and mangas. So, let's see who are they. The Seven Great Demon Lords are the Lords of the Dark Area and each member has the right to command legions of the Nightmare Soldiers, if they wish to. They also have the subordinate cycle of reincarnation provided by Anubismon. Instead of having a chance to be reborn, the data of their victims become their own flesh and blood, despite their might contain other demonic Digimon such as Grandermon, Grand Dracomon, are powerful enough to stand outside their authority. Some other Digimon, the Demon Lords, such as Milo Malodismon, are rumored to be part of this group, but are not members. The Royal Knights are naturally the enemies of the Seven Great Demon Lords, such as the Great Evil versus the Great Good. They were said to be once high-ranking angels, especially among them good of the goodness. However, they each commit a deadly sin fell when the Lucimon and, and that the rebellion against God alongside the other angel Digimon that fell. They were deleted to the dark area by the digital world system. Or perhaps they were humans that were created to the digital world and being sealed there as there is their punishment. Continuing to exist at the deadly sins, a desire that they each pursue, inevitably becoming demon lords. Belfamon was sealed in the deepest part of the dark area, and as its power was too immense, the, its data was put in a sleep state by that every system made the same. For say, this same system put this great Digimon to sleep. Currently, the seven great demon lords have supreme authority over the dark area, residing within the heart of that world, the den of demons and each member has the right to command the legions of the, dark mare, of the nightmare soldiers, if they wish so. They are also able to subvert the cycle of reincarnation, as I said before. Among the seven great demon lords, Lucimon Fall Down Mode is said to be the strongest. Some of their members became immune to the X program and were able to become stronger and attain X antibodies. Many of the evil Digimon who are transferred to the Dark Area may challenge the Seven Great Demon Lords to gain status and fame, but few have returned alive. For instance, Dark Knight Mon X aimed for a place among the Seven Great Demon Lords. Despite their might, however, certain other demonic Digimon are powerful enough to stand outside their authority, such as I said before, Grand Dracomon, who is so strong that even the Seven Great Demon Lords cannot interfere with him. In 2007, the Seven Great Demon Lords secretly released a crack program Tempest into the digital world that affected the Four Holy Beasts, among other Digimon, causing a worldwide rampage of chaos and destruction, and never really leading to the LR Wars. It is also said within the lore that the Seven Great Demon Lords are multiversal constants. They exist throughout the entire multiverse, and all we see in the franchise are just their avatars. Within the games, animes, and mangas, these avatars connect to each other, and when an avatar is defeated, their power are sent to the other avatars within the multiverse. As they are the incarnations of Sin, the seven great demon lords will exist while Sin exists. No matter how many times they are defeated, they will always return as long as their sins exist, such as pride, lust, gluttony, wrath, etc. Each time one of the seven great demon lords is dealt, the opponent receives an evidence of sin, which is a mark of their sin, which occurs 
the opponent to receive some kind of punishment. It is worth remembering that the sin collected and the punishment following that sin can even transcend space and time. One of the problems of defeating a seven great demon lord is that one who tries to face the a member of this group commits a sin as soon as the fight against the demon lord happens. Then one that faces will inevitably suffer this karma. The standard punishment is unknown, but in Digimon's story of Cyber Sleuth, Soyo's partner, Dynamon, simply disappears. The seven great demon lords are from the dark area, each of which governs a part of this world, which is full of darkness and ruin. Thanks to the great power, the dark area's location that has been referenced since the beginning of the franchise, it serves as a graveyard for defeat Digimon in the TCG game Hyper Coliseum. And it could be noted that the dark area reference to where the computer data goes after being deleted. Some examples of this is for example Devimon, a fallen angel Digimon whose body is clad in a jacket black color and coat. Although it was originally a single Angelmon species, Digimon, by falling into the dark area which exists in a spatial distortion of the digital world, it became a fallen angel. Another example is from Daemon by saying, however, because of his rampage and his rebellion against the being of goodness in the digital world, perhaps the very human that created the digital world, it was deleted to the dark area, the graveyard in which all data is deleted. On Anubismon's profile, a godman Digimon that guards and supervises the dark area, it consistently surveys the dark area to which Digimon that were deleted there when their lifespans have lifespans have expanded or have just finished, or when they were defeated in battle, are ultimately transmuted and are transferred here and become fallen angels and they inhabit this land. As for the Digimon transferred to the digital to the dark area if their data is evil it is imprisoned within the darkness of this eternal plane but if their data is good it has the ability to reset and become back to a say reincarnation when a being is sent to the dark area it is completely deleted its body soul and mind are erased and then it becomes an erased being the dark area itself is a place said to be nothingness itself. It does not exist in a natural space time. Being located in a distorted of the distortion of space where the flow of time does not flow. Conventional space is concorded by the dark area, and beings come from outside the dark area feels as if the time stands still inside this place. For the dark area to locate in a space-time vacuum outside the digital world, there is rarely a connection between the two worlds. However, when the dark area is active in the digital world, the whole universe reacts to this. And many of the consequences, the Digimon go mad, dimensional barriers weigh and, and more. Of course, the dark area is inhabited by Digimon fallen angels and Daemon, naturally being beings that have been erased from existence. But there are a few Digimon who resist this process and are much more powerful than normal. The best known for it is all known as the Seven Great Demon Lords. They are the great rulers of the Dark Area and govern it using their powers. In addition, the day of the Digimon consigned to oblivion by the Digimon crown as the Seven Great Demon Lord is not reincarnated but is sent to the center of the Dark Area and becomes the flesh and blood of the demon lords. Using their power, the seven great demon lords have connected to the dark area. With this, they are able to directly send their opponents to there. In addition, they can pre prevent the process of reincarnation of the Digimon. Naturally, a deleted Digimon of del that is deleted from existence is sent to the dark area can end up coming back to exist thanks to the power of some Digimon like Anubismon or Valkyriemon. But the seven day demon lords are able to nullify this one progress and those killed by it cannot be reborn and are sent to the dark area where they are absorbed by the seven great demon lords and become part of their body.
Each of the seven great demon wars is connected to with one of the seven deadly sins. They feed on the sins of the living beings and it is through them they manifest themselves. The dark areas is, is, is completely filled with darkness, malice, madness, and all sorts of bad feelings that were the seven great demon lords. The seven great demon lords are beings that are not usually in the same class as the ordinary Digimon, but they are as the dark areas native beings find themselves at a level of power beyond normal. They can also manifest in beings that contain their sins these beings are called materials for the great seven great demon lords. Now, moving on to the members of the seven great demon lords. Lilithmon, as a demon lord Digimon, which has the appearance of a woman, it is one of the seven great demon lords. It is thought that it was originally the same kind of Digimon as Ophidmon, but it fell from heaven and eventually became known as the goddess of darkness. It confounds its opponents with a bewitchingly lovingly appearance and it is said that those who are taken by its temation are immediately granted death its reputation as the goddess of darkness is pronounced by offering generosity towards the vice but cruel and outrage towards the other let the monk consider herself different from the other demon lords claiming to be quite Accommodated. In addition, its goals are more directed to the digital world itself, denying the wishes of other members of the group who want to dominate the human world. Lillian Mon prefers to stay in the digital world. She is quite powerful in her own right, as she has fought against Dark Knight Mon. Lillian Mon the Seer cut her face, and she was so annoyed by that she threw into a fit of fury that distorted time and space by creating a black hole that was going to destroy the entire zone. Lilithmon consistently destroys zones thanks to her uncontrolled fury and she even got punished by Emperor Bagramon by destroying another zone. Her special move is riding the opponent's body by slightly a sign of darkness. It is said that if one is stuck by this curse, their dead dissolves from the tip of their body and they suffer a painful and grueling death. Some of her moves involves Empress and Blade, which summons creatures of heart shaped beings which annihilates these op her opponents these monsters are strong enough to even be a big problem for dark nightmon lilithmon is able to cast magical spells and shields to protect herself although the level of the shields vary some are able to withstand the blows of dark nightmon without much issue she also has magic poison lilithmon has the ability to produce poisonous magic potions these potions can be used to make many purposes like control the target at a will or kill them the target. She also now has the ability to enact X evolution and because of this she has obtained Lord of Mon obtained a youthful and bewitching body. It is said that the appearance captivates everyone who sees it, instantly turning into their puppets. Upon achieving this ultimate beauty, Lord of Mon became a lustful and blightful goddess of death. Due to the torment brood in her and its mindlessness, it is said that the special mood draws out the power from the crown of lust to control others over the vast ranges. The seventh fascinate Digimon that have turned into puppets have the power drawn out of them beyond their limits, leading to their death after being controlled. Lilithmon itself watches with pleasure as their light shines, phase away in their last moments. Bialzamon, a demon lord Digimon that possesses, as while it possesses the power to parade over any many of the devil Digimon, there to oppose the solid existence. As one of the seven great demon lords, it is said that it could stand at the peak of the dark army nightmare soldiers. If it cared to, although it also said that there exists a demon lord Digimon which surpasses even Belialzamon, it rides on a gigantic motorcycle type machine, the Behemoth, holding its shotguns, the Burjan, heralds a weapon which were created by Voltrovmon. Although its personality is cruel and merciless, it's also extreme prideful, so it would never attack the weak. 
Despite being a member of the Seven Great Demon Wars, he does not like to be in this group and follows his own ideals. This was also the Seven Great Demon War that most helped the protagonists. That occurs in the Tamer series, the Digimon VR World Digitized, the Code and Digimon Stories, not to mention the Zero Wars or Digimon Fusion series. The Digimon can reach up to two alternate forms, Blast Mode and X Antibody Form. Blast Mode, an ultimate demon lord that has reaches and raises the power of his spirit to its utmost limit. Instead of evolving into the wickedness, it remains calm in a calmly manner state, and its three once blatant red eyes have become green. It commonly decimates an incomparable power and speed. And four jet like wings are grown from its back. You can also say that it became that Beelzebub that look on this figure. The opponent's own no longer exists. Its arm is attracted into a blaster and fires energy waves to decimate everything into atomic level. I will cover his X antibody form after this. But for starters, let's go on to how strong he is. Beelzebub has shown to be blatantly scaling to Magdramon, which has the digital hazard. Was causing the destruction of the entire digital world of the Tamers, which has layers of worlds containing unknown amount of layers. The seven layers of the network of the digital, of the real world itself. Self, he was not. He was struggling to do this. Magdramon was simply existing while doing this. Although inherently Beelzebub cannot rival Magdramon's power, after he absorbs the three perfect level. He has grown to so much that he can easily destroy and defeat Madramon and even destroy his armor which houses the digital hazard symbol. The digital hazard is an important concept in the digital franchise. The digi digital hazard is an important concept in the franchise. As the name inquires, it is an event that rep represents a great danger in the digital world. As an example, the digital hazard there is the digital chronicles, the great threat caused by the great presence of Digimon that could overload this digital world systems. Here the description give to the digital hazard will be a universal explosion. In this state, the digital world will be in peril and a massive explosion on a universal scale will occur. According to Guild of My Official Profile, the presence of the digital hazard brands in the digital and Digimon present the potential ability to cause immense damage to the, de to the data of the central computer. In this case, we are going to analyze we are talking about the digital world itself. He marks drawn on the abundant of called the digital hazard, which is described on those that have the potential to cause massive damage to the computer's data. His potential is demonstrated in the ultimate form of Gallantmon, Magnamon, Dokumon, and Chaos Dokumon. Here in the description of this, in the Digimon reference book, is known to what happens in the anime. As you can see, Magnamon has the power to destroy the entire digital world of the Tamers verse, which compose several multiverse each church sides of the digital world. At that moment, Magnamon was only existing while doing this. After Beelzebub does the data of three perfect Digimon, he was able to defeat Magnamon with the immense ease. With a single kick, he destroyed the digital hazard symbol, which completely stopped the destruction of the universes. The same Beelzebub is cap comparable to Dokumon. In addition, he will still be have this incredible power. According to one theory, Magnamon, uh, Magdramon, and Chaos Dokumon are the same being. It is said that whether the wave of terror is projected as a dark knight or as the dark dragon depends on the observer. Another form of Dokumon which is an awoken to its instincts as a virus species, its heart and thoughts are completely dark side and it is nothing more than the digital hazard that bring calamity to the digital world. This shining royal knight has an awakened form, a demon dragon. Note, Beelzebub has killed many Digimon and absorbed his data. He also became 
able to use their attacks. Although many that I will list have not been used by Beelzebub, it was told by the characters that all powers were stolen by Beelzebub. He even suffered change his body and adapted to the powers in some cases. It is worth remembering that many of the characters' techniques he had absorbed only destructive and slightly effective effort to Beelzebub's own techniques. So here I will only list the skills that he he showed to help Beelzebub. Also, if the characters' speeches are not enough to state that Beelzebub can use these powers, let me remove. Let me just say that he will not use them. Though, I think he should be able to use these powers since he absorbed the powers of the Digimon he had, had absorbed prior. He has this darkness claw, it is the signature move that raises a claw overhead and then cuts the opponent to pieces. Revirta, the original form of Metromon, is Revirta in which it causes the Budo Yu imprisonment. Its opponent completely erases it in its opponent from existence. A completely erasing it along with the opponent. He can also make the golden triangle formed by a Reftramon. Beelzebub did not use this technique. It fires from its whole body and completely disables the opponent's data. So he should be able to use this power since he absorbed the Digimon prior who had this ability. He has Death Slinger. It is a signature move that fires a destructive wave from the blast on his arm. This powerful energy destructive wave, it can annihilate everything into atoms. As I said before, he has the ability to achieve X evolution. As a result, Beelzebub's data becomes overrided by the X antibody and was granted the ability to summon Leo F. de Grillo, a crimson flame of the underworld of the dark area capable of changing their forms at will. The ability are sentient flames that are used to impose judgment upon the opposite of the soul, of the sinner that falls into the dark area. A being of demon lord type, Beelzebub would have been completely annihilated by the flames under normal circumstances, including the digital code. However, having the, assist the accessibility of the antibody into his body, Beelzebub became able to surpass these will of these flames and control them as they are his mere pow own power. Without being burned by them, it's Glutton Flare in which it shoots the flames from its shotguns as magical bullets, eradicating data without leaving a trace as if the flames themselves swallowed the enemy whole. Furthermore, it requires the seventh full cluster which a considerable power of the glut glutton flames into the crown of gluttony and flares fires it as a single shot. In the Digimon Tamer series, when Empermon accepted the offer from Kalsamon for power, he evolved into Beelzemon. He tried to kill the Tamers and their partners and eventually stabbed Leomon, just his partner, with his darkness claws, killing him. This inferior is Taikito who forces Mega Gromon to grow to evolve into Magdramon to kill Beelzebub, but he went onto a rampage and eventually reverted to Gluntomon. Following that, Taikito and Gluntomon evolved into Dokumon, who eventually killed Beelzebub. However, Beelzebub was spared by Jotro. By the time Beelzebub appeared again, he was determined to repent from his sins. And evolve further into his blaster mode. Balfamon Sleep Mode and Balfamon Rage Mode. Sleep Mode. A demon lord Digimon that is said to be sealed in the deepest parts of the dark area. As the strength it possesses is too immense. Its data is said to have been put in a sleep state by the digital world system. Although the truth of the matter is uncertain. Because it has fallen into a deep sleep it cannot be of attack or it cannot unleash its attacks, but it's able to influence damage to Digimons just by snoring. And for that reason, it won't be easy to attack Belfmon in its sleep mode. It is interesting to note that while in sleep mode, the Belfmon does not care much about what happens around him as long as it remains asleep. Rage Mode It is said that Belfmon awakes from its eternal slumber once in a thousand years and regains its normal shape. When Belfamon awakes from its slumber, it changes into an incarnate of rage. 
and anything that enters its field of vision becomes in a target of destruction. It is said that just by suffering Belfamon Rage's roar, perfect Digimon and below will have their data disassembled and decimated, and die instantly, and not even Ultimate Digimon can escape unharmed. In addition, the data of Digimon consided to oblivion by the Digimon crown of the Seven Great Demon Lord is not reincarnated, but is sent to the center of the dark area and becomes the flesh and blood of the Demon Lords. Belfamon Raised Mode also nearly tore apart the world by roaring. Furthermore, according to Chrysopamon, if Belfamon Sleep Mode woke up, its energy would cover the entire digital world. At the end of the Digimon story, the Belfamon faced the protagonist at the moment the story had became already defeated Chromamon, both in DM and HM. Belfamon has no full attacks like its Gift of Darkness slash attack which unleashes from its claws clash with Flames of Hell. It has its absorption ability, Belfamon is able to use his chain to absorb other people's forms of energy and is able to use special attacks based on what he absorbed. For example, he absorbed space and time across his bomb and gained the power to make space and time rips with just his mere blows. Rip space time. After absorbing space time collision bomb, Belfamon gained the ability to rip space and time with just casual attacks. After Thomas betrayed Karada and destroyed the device for allowing him to control Belfamon's sleep mode, Karada digitized himself and merged with the causing clockwork ring to awake Belfamon rage mode. He was easily defeated by Shine Greymon burst mode in the end, which we'll get into just right now. And Digimon Squad, the animated series, shown long ago that the great, the seven great demon lords almost brought ruin to the digital world. However, they were stopped and reverted to Digiag forms and then sealed away to be forgotten. The seven great demon lords, as they appear in the flashback of Digimon Data Squad, form the left and right of Daemon, Lilamon, Barbaramon, Bialzamon, Leviamon, and Lusamon Chaos Mode. Also in Digimon Data Squad, sometime after Marcus introduced the Data Squad to Karada discovered a temple which hides the sleeping Digi Egg of the dig of the Lord Sloth Belfamon. He revived the Digi Egg and eventually hatched it into Belfamon's sleep mode. After which Karada began content of awakening the great demon lord by collecting Digimon life energy in which would allow him to corrupt both the human and digital world and conquer it. Using his army of Giz Gizamon to permanently murder any different type and many different type of Digimon, Karate eventually collected the required energy after slaying the master mount of Ed Eli Devramon. Believing he has been successfully brought Thomas under his cause, Karate used the Digimon to control the device Thomas had made for him. To command Belfamon. However, during Belfamon's attack, Thomas double crossed Karaya and destroyed the control device, forcing Karaya to revert by control by transforming himself into the data merging with Belfamon, which caused him to transform into Belfamon Rage Mode. Soon after, Thomas joined the fight with Marcus Damon and his other fellow friends, only to be stopped against Belfamon. He might have finished Rosemond, having the size of Belfamon's arm. Belfamon Rage blocked the attack by shooting Rosemon and Cromon, who reverted back into Falcomon. Through Kenan's rage, Falcomon double warped into Ravenmon and attacked Belfamon, but it was unable to do anything more but anger him. Belfamon launched a massive attack at Marcus Thomas, and eat in which Ravenmon blocked it. Due to this increase in rage, Karada loses control of Belfamon and turning on turning to a consciousness. As his rage mode, unlike Karada, Belfamon only his goal is destruction, a pure destruction. Marcus Digi Egg hatches into Agumon. Or first it was Koromon, then it evolved into Agumon. Once Agumon digivolved into Shine Greymon, Karada's face emerged from Belfamon's chest. He then drained electricity from the city, causing Belfamon rage mode to grow and swallow numbers of space of device to give it more power to tear and rips into both the digital world and the human world, threatening both. 
bringing those to crash towards each other together. In the end, Shine Greymon Digivolve into Burst Mode and destroyed Belfamon Rage Mode with the help of Marcus' DNA charge, going straight through Belfamon Rage Mode's chest and destroying Karada. Like the rest of his fellow Demon Lords, Belfamon also has the ability to X Evolution. Its destructive impulse have influence and instinct that have sharpened. It will utterly and completely crush those it seeks to destroy. It will first aim for Bunter Pressure. The Digimon acting as a beacon of hope for his opposing army, crushing the hopeful hearts of the entire army faction. It then continues pounding on its opponent's opposite army, which has lost its will to fight, until it's satisfied and has laid waste to the army. It special moved it caused it the crown of sloth and overflowed with power, firing crimson energy waves from its claws at immense output. Now moving on to Leviathan, the strongest monster existing in the digital world it is called the Devil Beast. Out of terror of extreme mighty power this, that this monster possesses, it is counted as one of the seven great demon lords. This is a seed monster said to possess gigantic jaws which can go down even the digital world. It is reported to sleep in the deepest depths of the net sea the net ocean nearest to the darkest area and if it awakens it will despise any Digimon at the top it will flee even the angel Digimon such the much less other demon lords however as the existence of the limits of on the Digimon are decoded its own appearance similar to nothingness and it is said that it builds the foundation for the existence of wickedness in the digital world. When the digital world was treaded in the prediction of a homeostasis stating that a dragon entity would destroy existence and non-existence, Leviathan and Belphamon were suspected to be the great evil that would come. In Decode, he and Belphamon guarded the dark area and both helped the protagonists to fight Barbaramon by giving them some of their power to be unaffected by Karada. To be unaffected by karma, my bad. And to seal their up opponent by permanently him from reborn into the future. In Zero Wars, he he was along with Le Leviathan, one of the seven lords who decided to not to remain neutral in the situation. He aided the, the Laurel Knights and the other groups that came together to fight Bagramon's army and eventually became a digital digital memory that was found by Shabi Kamamon and used by Taiki in episode 5 of Digimon Zero Wars to help Shoutmon X times 2 help defeat Edramon. For the record, I just want to point out, forgive me for mispronouncing some of these names, they're kind of hard to remember. As said before, the strongest monster existing in the digital world is called the Beast Devil, or the Devil Beast, a, a terror of exceeding mighty power that this monster possesses, as it counts it as one of the seven great demon lords. This event's monster is said to possess gigantic jaws which could devour down even the digital world. In Digimon Saviors Another Mission, it is said that Leviathan's data can swallow the digital world itself. This, this indicates that Leviathan's data is larger than the entire data of the digital world itself. The Royal Knights has classified him as one of the Dragon Digimon that can cause destruction to all existence. Both of them is one of them, while they were looking for the Dragon of the Homosexual Prophecy. Leviathan also has the ability to help X evolution. Winged arms grown from its back, and it gains the ability to fly by soaring out of its energy, landing to sea and air, having both feeding ground by Leviathan where it will try to devour anything. It, its special moves are assuring the enemy with its tentacle shaped tails all at once, and another move which crushes them with its three straight jaws. Rushstone tames them. Also, when the envy energy contained within the environment reaches its peak, 
its crown of envy shine and unleashes an extreme immense lightning from its three horns the seventh lightning which said to sink con continents into its oceans but that is it for part one be on the look for, for part two when it comes out i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video please hit like share and subscribe and also comment down below comment down for what other digimon video would you like to see in the future and i will see you guys next time peace